it's your boy Bobby B show. We're gonna talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is would you watch a Tasha spinoff? When it comes down to it, I personally would watch a Tasha spinoff. And the reason why I would watch Tasha spinoff is because basically, hey, she's the wife of Ghost. She's the mother of Tariq. She's the sister of Tommy. Why wouldn't I want to watch a spinoff about her? Um, when it comes down to it, Tasha is very important. I'm going to tell you guys why she is important. She was the one who saw the potential of Ghost as the biggest drug dealer in New York. And when Angie saw him potentially becoming the person like a businessman or something like that, Tasha was the one who saw him becoming the biggest drug dealer in New York. She told Tariq that the moment she saw him she knew that his father was different and he was about his numbers he was very intelligent very smart and that he was just different and when it comes down to it she is a big part of why ghost became the biggest drug dealer in new york we talk about the raising ghost story or the potential of when ghost comes in and how things are going to be tasha is a very vital piece in ghost becoming who he is and now there's a lot of people who call tasha a queen pin which truth be told she is if ghost was a kingpin then she was was a queen pin so when it comes down to it ghost and tasha really operated the most as a team because she knew him better than everybody she knew ghost better than tommy she knew ghost better than kanan she knew ghost better than angela and at the end of the day even though some people prefer angela because angela was the love that ghost always wanted it was tasha who knew who ghost was and helped ghost got to where he was and that's not a diss on ghost it's just they worked good together they're a good team when it comes down to it they were the ones who had got kanan put in prison they didn't tell Tommy about it because they knew Tommy wasn't going to go for it. But see, the thing is, is with uh, Ghost and with Tasha, they love Tommy like a brother, but they all treat him a little differently because they know there's some things that they can do with Tommy and some things they can't do with Tommy. And so when it comes down with Tasha, um, her coaching Tariq and becoming who he is, um, basically when it comes down to it, she told Ghost the only, like, we should let him be what he wants to be and, and not try to control him because that doesn't uh, work out for us whatsoever, which Ghost saying, no, I'm not excited accepting him wanting to be a big drug dealer something that Tariq eventually later regret and Tasha also regrets now Tasha will go far for Tariq because at the end of the day when Tasha when Tariq was about to take out Monet it was Tasha who stepped in and was the one who uh, shot up Monet so when it comes down to it with Tasha being who she is would I definitely watch a spinoff yeah now you got some fans that either love her or some fans that either hate her but at the end of the day I'm one of the fans that love her and even though I didn't agree with every decision that she did when it comes down to it I still like her as a character a lot of fans hold her for sean and a lot of fans hold her for terry and some fans hold her of course for the dude at the end i think his name is q they hold her for that and then they hold her for some of the decisions that she's done with Tariq. a lot of people you know they came at her about that but at the end of the day she's still a character and she's still a vital piece and her and ghost has some of the best scenes in all the power so when it comes down to it could i see a tasha spinoff most definitely i, I mean i could see that i would love to see it would i watch it yes so if it's a power our book five, six, seven. I would watch a Tasha spinoff. It would be good. It would be interesting. I think that she should be a part of book two, but I think she should have her own story because she has her own life. And Tariq try to stay away from her life if he if he's going to be like dangerous. The same way she she has her own thing going on. She's in witness protection, but she's able to slip away whenever she needs to. As we saw, she was the one who pretty much slipped away and hit up Monet real hard. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, there's other things she could be doing. Okay, maybe she slipped away and she hit up Monet and then she left. But then again, who's to say she's not doing anything else? Who's to say she's not establishing a business? Because if you really look at it, with anybody she kind of got with, with Sean, she somewhat manipulated him into doing things that she wanted him to do and controlled him pretty much. And the same thing could be said with Terry. Terry tried to give her the runaround, but Tasha was, of course, way smarter than Terry was. And we all see how that ended with him. When it came to Q, she was convincing Q to do things as well. People who are not on that level could not really deal with Tasha because you're literally dealing with a queen pin who's used to dealing with a kingpin and pretty much, you know, finding somebody who could fit in Ghost's, you know, place or, or do things that Ghost did or the type of person Ghost was, that's going to be a tough thing to do. But at the end of the day, we'll be interested in seeing, you know, if Ghost is truly gone, can Tasha find someone that's like Ghost, you know, kind of like Ghost, but they're different. You know, we'll see how that play out. When it comes down to it, I'm saying to you guys that I personally would watch a Tasha spinoff. I'll look forward to it. But tell me, would you watch a Tasha spinoff? Because you see yourself looking at a spinoff about Tasha. But that's pretty much all I got to say in regards to that. I just want to say to all of you that it is your boy, Bobby B's here. I just want to say much love and much respect. Hold it down. And one. Hey, it's your boy, Bobby B's here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind.